Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Great Stack. In this video, we will learn about 30 best JavaScript projects. These 30 small JavaScript projects covers most of the important concepts of JavaScript. If you create all these projects and host them online, it will add a great value to your resume. You can make one project every day and complete it in just 30 days. If you complete these 30 projects in 30 days, we will send you our great stack t-shirt for free. To know more about it, please check out the video description. All these tutorials are available on my YouTube playlist. You can find the playlist link in the i button and video description also. Now let's check out our first project. This is weather app built using JavaScript. If I enter any city name in this search box, it will display the weather information. Let me type my city name and click on this search icon. You can see it is displaying the icon and temperature, city name and humidity and wind speed. Let me add another city name here. So it is displaying the another temperature for this city and humidity and wind speed. So this project is built using JavaScript. Now let's move to the next project. This is the to do list app. Here you can see one input field and one add button. If I write something in this input field, create video and click on this button. You can see one list has been added here. Let's add another one. You can see it is also added in this list. We can select anyone like this. So it will be marked as completed. And if I click again, it will be unchecked. It is incomplete. We can delete this one using this delete icon like this. So this was the to do list app built using JavaScript. Now let's move to the next project. This is the quiz app. And here we can select the answers for these questions. Let's add anything. Click on the next. It will display the next question. Here we will add another option. It is displaying the wrong answer and correct answer. Let's click on the next button again. Again, let's select any option. It is correct. That's why it is displaying green color. We cannot change our answer once we have selected anyone. We will click on the next button. Here also we will select any of these four options. And it is also correct. Let's click on the next button and it will display the score. You have scored three out of four. And if you will click on this play again, it will start the quiz again. So this quiz app is built using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now let's move to the next project. This is the random password generator. Here we can click on this generate password button. It will display a random password and we can click on this icon to copy this password and we can paste it anywhere. Let's click on the button again. So it will again display a new password. You can see it is displaying the new password. If I click again, it is generating the random password and it is a strong password because it has the letters, a special characters, numbers. So this random password generator is also built using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now let's move to the next project. This is the online notes app using JavaScript. Here you can see one button create notes. It will display this text area here. We can add any text. Like this, we can save the note. Let's click on the button again and it will display another input field. Here we will type like this. We can also delete any of these notes like this. All the notes saved on this web page will be stored in the browser using JavaScript local storage. Now let's move to the next project. This is the age calculator. Here if I select the date of birth, and click on this calculate button, it will display the age like this. You are 23 years, five months, 22 days old. Like this, you can select the date of birth and calculate the exact age in years, month and days. This project is also built using JavaScript. Now let's move to the next project. This is quote generator app. Here, if I refresh the website, it will display a new quote every time and we can share this quote on Twitter like this. And we can click on this 
button to generate a new code. Let's click here. So it is displaying a new code. This code generator app is built using JavaScript and we have used the API. So you will learn about the APIs also. Now let's move to the next project. This is the QR code generator. Here if I add any text or URL, it will display the QR code for the same. If I write my channel name, create a stack, click on this button, generate QR code. So it is displaying the QR code for this particular text. We can create the QR code for the URLs also. If I write google.com and click on this generate QR code button again, it will display another QR code. And if you will scan this QR code, it will open this particular URL. So this QR code is also built using JavaScript. Now let's move to the next project. Here you can see three buttons. If I click on the success, it will display one notification in the bottom right side, which is successfully submitted. If I click on this button, it is displaying another message. Please fix the error. If I click on this button, invalid input, please check. So these are the toast notification or snack notification bar. These notifications are coming with some animation and it will disappear after few seconds. So this toast notification is also built using JavaScript. Now let's move to the next project. This is the music player where you can play this song. And here we have the play and pause button. You can see when I clicked on this play button, the sound is playing. I have turned off my laptop sound because of the copyright issue. But you can see this progress bar is increasing. We can move this indicator to forward the song and we can click on this play or pause icon to control the song and this music player is also built using javascript now let's move to the next project which is a stopwatch here you can see we have three buttons which is stop play and restart if i click on the play button it will start counting from the zero so this timer has started and if i click on the stop so it will pause the timer at the same time and if I click on the play again, it will start from the same time. And when you want to reset it, here we have the button to reset this stopwatch. So this stopwatch is built using JavaScript. Now let's move to the next project, which is calculator. So this beautiful calculator is built using JavaScript. And here you can perform all the calculations. Let me add one number here, seven and click on this plus icon and click on five and if i click on this equal it will display the result 12 like this let me delete this and click on three six multiply three and we will get the result like this so this calculator is built using html css and javascript so just create it by yourself now let's move to the next project here we have the button and if I click on this button, it will display one pop up or model box. This model box is coming with some animation. Let me refresh the website and click on the button again. You can see this model box looks beautiful. This model box with animation is built using JavaScript. Now let's move to the next project. Our next project is password toggle. We can hide or display the password from this password input field. Let me write some text here. You can see these texts are hidden because it's a password field, but we can also check the text by clicking on this icon. Here you can see one eye close icon and if I click here, it will display the text. And here we have the another icon I open and if I click again, it will hide the password. So this is the password visibility toggle option using JavaScript. Now let's move to the next project. Our next project is light and dark mode of the website. I have created this website and here you can see we have added one icon which is the moon icon and if I click on this one it will turn the website into the dark mode. You can see the complete website is in the dark mode and here you can see the another icon which is the sun icon and if I click here it will turn the website into the light mode. So this light and dark mode switch option is built using JavaScript. Now let's move to the next project which is the form validation. 
here you can see one form where you can enter the name phone number email id and message if i start typing in this input field which is the name input field if i write my name only the first name it is displaying write full name it is giving the warning let's add full name and here you can see this check mark which is correct now we will add the phone number if i add eight digit it is saying number should be 10 digits and if i enter any 10 digits it is displaying the check mark because it is validated it is correct now let's move to the email here we will add any email like this it is displaying invalid email we will add like this still it is saying invalid let's add dot c still it is invalid and now we will add the correct email format so it is displaying the check mark because it's a valid email format now we will add the text in this message area you can see there is a warning at the end 22 more characters required we have added one limit here if i write the remaining character then only this error message will be removed you can see i have added the long text here and this error message has been removed and you can see the check mark so this form validation is also built using javascript where we have added the validation in the name phone number email and message now let's move to the next project our next project is image slider here you can see three images which is in the gray color and if i move the cursor it will become colorful and we can click on these icons to slide these images like this and we have added one more feature here if i take cursor over this image and move the mouse wheel it will scroll like this so you can slide the image using the mouse wheel also so this beautiful image slider is also built using html css and javascript now let's move to our next javascript project which is email subscription form on this website you can see some message and one input field where you can type the email id and here we have the send button with the icon if user will enter any email id in this input field and click on this send icon it will send this email to our google sheet where you can see the list of emails who have subscribed to your website now let's move to our next project this is a password input field and in this field if i write something you can see one message at the bottom password is big if i start typing and increase the number of characters in this field you can see password is medium and if i write something else you can see password is strong so this password field has one password strength indicator which is displaying whether the password is weak medium or strong you can see the border color of this input field is also changing when it is big the border color is red and if it is medium the border color is yellow and when it is strong you can see the border color green so this password strength indicator is built using javascript now let's move to our next project our next project is text to a speech converter here you can see one input field and if i type something in this input field and click on this listen button welcome to great stack make 30 javascript project in 30 days it is converting this text into the speech and we can also change the voices here we have the drop down and we can select another voice welcome to great stack make 30 so javascript is, project in 30 days so it is converting the speech in different voice so this is the text to a speech or text to voice converter using html css and javascript now let's move to our next project this is the coming soon page and here you can see it is displaying one timer which is continuously running it is counting the time in reverse direction it is decreasing in seconds 53 52 51 like this and here it is displaying days hours minutes and seconds so this type of countdown you can add in the coming soon website or product launch page and here you can see some animation also so this coming soon page with countdown is built using html css and javascript now let's move to our 
next project which is image background transition here you can see one image and if i move the cursor on this image you can see it is removing the background from this image as we are moving the cursor this transition position is also moving from the left side to the right side so this is very beautiful javascript project now let's move to our next project our next project is mini calendar that will display the today's date day month and year so today is 23rd friday june 2023 so it will update every day so this current date is displaying with the help of javascript now let's move to our next project which is the custom select box here you can see one drop down box where the text is select social media if i click here it will display the list and if i click on instagram this instagram is selected here if i click on the twitter twitter is selected here and you can see some animation in this drop icon you can see it is also rotating so this drop down select box is built using html css and javascript now let's move to our next project our next project is circular progress bar if i refresh the website you can see this progress bar is increasing and here you have the value which is 65 percent and if i refresh the website you can see it will be counting from zero it is increasing from zero to 65 percent and this counting is built using javascript and this complete circular progress bar is looking beautiful with some animations so you can build this type of circular progress bar with the help of javascript now let's move to our next project which is the product page gallery so in e-commerce website you will see this type of product image gallery where we have the icons to change the images you can see we have the three icons here and if i click on these icons it is changing the product image that is different image of the same product and in the right side we have some other information like product name description and size color so we will create this type of product page with the help of html and css and add this image gallery with the help of javascript now let's move to our next project which is the cryptocurrency website where we will display the live price of the cryptocurrency so we have created this web page with the help of html and css and at the bottom you can see we have added three coins which is bitcoin ethereum and dogecoin and it is displaying the current price of these coins these live price are coming from the api that you will learn in this project with the help of javascript our next project is digital clock and here you can see it is displaying the current time in hours minutes and seconds let me show you my laptop current time and here it is it is same as the time displaying on this web page so this web page is displaying the current time with the help of javascript so this is another useful project using javascript now let's move to our next project so our next project is drag and drop using javascript here you can see in the left block we have four items and if i hold this one and drag like this so we can drag these items from the left block to the right block and we can also drag from the right block to the left block like this so we have created this drag and drop feature with the help of javascript now let's move to our next project which is image search engine this is a very important and useful javascript project where i have added the api to call the images and here we have the search box and one search button if i enter any keyword in this search box let me add cat and click on the enter so it will display only cats images like this we can add any other keyword here nature and now you can see all the images related to natures and here we have the show more button if i click here it will display more images like this so we have created this image search engine with the help of html css and javascript so these are all 30 projects that you can create in just 30 days you can create these projects after watching my playlist and upload these projects on online hosting and add your project link in the resume that will add a great value in your resume for your job so i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel greatest tech thank you so much for watching this video